Good evening and welcome to Wednesday's Midlands Today from the BBC. Tonight, work officially starts on a new tram system in the centre of Birmingham as the city plays catch-up with its regional rivals. Cities such as Manchester, Nottingham and Sheffield already have established passenger tram systems. And now the Midland Metro will link up Birmingham's two main railway stations. After 20 years of planning, the £127 million project will see trams running through the city centre between Snow Hill and New Street stations. There will be trams in Birmingham for the first time in 50 years. Our transport correspondent Peter Plisner reports. This is what the Metro should look like when it's finished, a modern 21st century rapid transit system gliding through the streets of Birmingham. But before that can happen, there's a lot of digging to do, and today saw the start of that process in the hands of the Transport Minister, Norman Baker. The evidence from Manchester, from Nottingham, from London, elsewhere, is that when you bring the trams into city centres, it really helps the business and provides a clean, green way of travelling. The new line will run from Snow Hill Station, the current metro terminus point, via Corporation Street, all the way down to New Street Station. Although it's only a short walk, transport bosses maintain the line is necessary. This is about getting passengers across the city centre to the shopping areas, to the stations from right across the West Midlands. Uh, and if you, if you come from Wolverhampton, you don't expect to be told to walk across the city centre to get to the Bullring shopping centre. To make way for the metro, buses will have to be completely removed from this, one of Birmingham's busiest streets. Bus stops used by around 50,000 passengers every day will be relocated elsewhere in the city centre. Although there's a big information campaign due to start, there are still some concerns about the changes. We're working very closely with City Council and Centro to minimise any walking distance changes. We're looking to ensure that our bus network reflects the changing way the city is moving and developing over a period of time. We think we're coming up with some good options. There will be improved journey times. Apart from on the buses, metro planners are promising minimal disruption during the works and are hoping to avoid the chaos seen in Edinburgh when a similar system was introduced there. The scheme, which also includes the introduction of 20 new, bigger trams, is expected to be complete sometime in 2015. Peter Plisner, BBC Midlands Today in Birmingham. Oh, well, the